rock dog and he plays the drums in his rock and roll band. Rock and roll band. He tours the world in his vocal box to beat the screaming fans. Day or I just can't play. Bookaboo takes flight into the night. Anything to escape the bright lights and the baying of the crowd. Won't tell my story, so I'm not going back on stage. Hm. Now, Bookaboo, come back on stage, please. No. Watch me fool him good and proper. This bookaboo of whom you speak is not here, for I am Baron Buchenstein. <laughs> Who's that? Go away. I'm not coming out. Bookaboo, I've come a very long way to see you. Now open up the door. Wow, it sounded a very, very famous rock legend. Meatloaf! I came to see you play drums. This is so embarrassing. How do I tell rock legend Meatloaf that I just can't play without a story a day? Oh. Uh, sorry, Mr Meatloaf. The thing is, unless you just happened to come by a bit of a booker bag on your travels, you know, via the band sort of thing, bring the booker bag sort of thing. You're asking me if I brought the booker bag. Yes. Did I bring the booker bag? You brought the booker bag. He's got the booker bag. Come on in, Mr. Big Big Rock Legend. Meet love. Booker bag. Booker bag. Booker bag. Booker bag. Booker bag. I'm coming in. You know, Bookaboo, all rock buses should look like this. Yeah. Bookaboo. Well, meatloaf. Oh, it is great to meet you. Finally meeting the greatest dog rock drummer of all time. The loaf and the boo, united by the power of the bookabag. Okay, but first, old people have to wear glasses to be able to read the books in the bookabag. Let's yeah. unzip the bookabag and let's see what's in the bookabag. Let's see, we're going to read this one. It's got a wolf on the front. This could get scary. The lamb who came for dinner. Vegetable soup again, moaned the old wolf. I wish I had a little lamb. I can make a hot pot, my favorite. And just then, knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know. I haven't gone to the door yet. We'll go to the door. It was a little lamb. Uh-oh. Can I come in? The little lamb said. Yes, my dear. Do come in. You're just in time for dinner, snickered the old wolf. Ooh. The little lamb was shivering with cold. Brr, brr. Brr, brr. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb that's frozen. Okay. I hate frozen food. Ooh. So he put her next to the fire to thaw her out. The old wolf looked up the recipe for lamb hot pot. Mm. He felt hungry. Just the thought of it. Mm. The lamb was feeling hungry too. Her tummy rumbled, rumble, 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 rumble it went. Rumble, rumble. Oh, goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb with a rumbling tummy. I might get indigestion. Yeah, good point, Wolf. So he gave the lamb a carrot to eat. Stuffing, he said to himself. Oh. The little lamb gobbled down the carrot so quickly that she got hiccups. Hick, hick, hiccup, hick, hick. Now that's 
how she went. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb with hiccups. I might catch them too. But he didn't know how to cure the hiccups. He tried throwing the lamb up in the air. Hick. Oh, that didn't work. He held her upside down. That didn't work. He twirled her round and round and round. Hiccup, hiccup. Oh. But that didn't work either. So the old wolf put the lamb over his shoulder and patted her back with his big, hairy paw. The lamb stopped hiccuping, and she snuggled under the old wolf's shaggy chin and fell fast asleep in his arms. The old wolf felt funny. He had never been hugged by his dinner before, and suddenly he didn't feel so hungry after all. <sighs> the little lamb snored gently in his ear. <laughs> That's exactly how she went. Goodness gracious me, whispered the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb that is snoring. Oh. The old wolf sat down in the chair by the fire, the little lamb warm on his chest. And he thought just how very long it had been since anyone had given him a cuddle. Hmm. He sniffed and sniffed again. The little lamb smelled so, so delicious. Oh, groaned the wolf. If I eat her quickly, it'll oh. be all right. And he was just about to gobble her up when... Turn the page! Turn the page! Turn the page. Uh, she woke up and gave him a great big kiss. <laughs> no! Howled the wolf. That's not fair. I'm a big bad wolf and you're a hot pot. A hot pup? Said the little lamb with a smile. Then she pointed at the old wolf and said, Wolf? Oh, give me strength, groaned the old wolf. You will have to go. Well. He wrapped the little lamb up warmly and put her outside. No! Go away! He shouted. If you stay here, I will eat you, and then we'll both be sorry. And he shut the door with a bang! Getting a bit scary now, meat. It was dark outside and cold. The little lamb banged on the door. Wolf, she cried. Can I come in, wolf? Oh, can I come in? But the wolf stuck his fingers in his ears and he went la 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 until she stopped and at last all was quiet. Oh. Thank goodness she's gone, thought the wolf. She's not safe here with a hungry old wolf like me. No. No, she's not, is she? But then the wolf thought of the lamb all alone in the dark wood. She might get lost. Lost. She might get frozen. Frozen. She might get eaten. Eaten by a rotten old owl. Oh, no! What have I done? The wolf really frightening now. Oh, the wolf. He leapt up and opened the door, but the lamb was gone. Gone. The old wolf rushed into the dark wood, crying, Little lamb, little lamb! Little lamb, little, little lamb! Little lamb, little lamb. lamb! Come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! I won't eat you! I promise I won't eat you! Yeah, promises. Much, much later, a sad, soggy old wolf trudged wearily back to his cottage alone. Oh. He pushed open the door, and there by the fire sat the little lamb. Ah. You came back, said the wolf. Haven't you got anywhere else to go? Ah. The little lamb shook her head. Would you like to stay here with me? Asked the wolf. The little lamb gave him a hard stare. 
not eat me, wolf? No, she said. Oh, goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb who needs me. I might get heartburn. Good point. Yeah. The little lamb smiled and then threw herself into the old wolf's arms. Are you feeling hungry, Hot Pot? Asked the wolf. <coughs> How about a little vegetable soup? It's my favorite. Oh, what a fantastic story, me. Thanks for reading it to me. Oh, no problem. Ooh. Uh, I'm beginning to get my magic back. <laughs> Today, 